Okay, so we're gonna head down the hill. Straight down here. Does feel a lot better the bike. Hopefully that's not famous last words, but um, it was really rattly before. It's just a lot of things rattling. You know, like brake levers and front brake lever, the, the rear, the foot brake lever. It was all just, you know, rattling around. And the problem is with everything rattling around is you can't really hear the important stuff like your revs and the, uh, you know, the gear you're in and all that sort of stuff. They're the things you want to be able to hear. You don't want to... Obviously, there's still a little bit of rattling going on. But I can guarantee it's a lot better. It sounded like there's a bag of coins strapped to the back. Bouncing around. It wasn't good. Yeah, this thing is an absolute beast. And when I get the new rear tyre on it, it's just going to be an absolute weapon. It does so well, and I'm... Starting to get, I'm not trying to sound like big headed or anything, but starting to get a lot more confident with the geometry and the weight of it. Takes a little while to sort of get used to it. It's been about 10 years since I rode dirt bikes anyway. So it's been a long time. I was actually even, when I bought it, I was even like, crap. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to like ride the thing properly and change gears, but uh, on my first ride, I just took it easy and then it all came back straight away. You know, it's like what they say, it's like riding a bike. It's like riding a dirt bike. So we're gonna follow this along here. So I've done a few things to this, fixed up the suspension. Uh, when I bought it, it had no brakes. Just basically been over the whole thing, tightened it up, giving it all a good once over. And uh, yeah, now it's running real good. It does so well on the trails. We're going to shoot up here, I reckon. As you can see, the, the mountains, like the little hills have, it's not going to go down there, but I just want to have a quick look. So there's the bog, that's where the four drives come through, and it really, you can ride through on a dirt bike, it's a little bit deep, but you actually don't need to, I'll show you why. Don't need to go through on a dirt bike because because I made a secret path. Follow me down here. You can just see it. I'm going to skid my back tire a little. Ah, oh, maybe. Yeah, basic follow it down here. As you can see, down through here, just walk him down. And we are here at the river crossing. I'm going to flick him off for a little bit. There you go. Fuel off. Yeah, let's have a quick look. Actually, I don't want to... Let's fling him around. I don't want that going anywhere by itself. How about you just sit there? Yeah, it's a little bit of water today. I'm actually, I was actually expecting a lot more, to be honest. We had a stack of rain, but um, maybe, I don't know, maybe it takes a couple of days for it to run down from all these areas, but yeah, honestly, in summer, this is still, you know, oh, look at fish. I've seen fish up here, yeah, I saw a little fish go up on the rock and flick around. I knew there was, I knew there was fish in here. I've never seen one like that easily, though. So they're definitely in here. Don't know what sort of fish, but... Yeah, it's cool. So I made this river crossing, chucked all the rocks in here, cleared out that section, just so you can get through. Like I said, the four drives really do chunk it up. Pretty massive. Okay, so here it is. Pit Pro 140 in all its glory. This is a 2007 model. Um, probably had a hard life, but honestly, still runs pretty good. Um, and it's it's pretty good, Nick. It's, there's nothing major that's broken. When I got it, there was quite a few things, but I fixed it all up. And... Um, yeah, I just did this recently, a little P2 
pipe here on the air filter just to bend it around and put it under the frame. I didn't like it that it stuck out the side so much. It looked like it was going to get caught on um, branches. And I think it's a little bit better for like, as far as splashing and all that, the less likely to get any splashing in there. Doesn't seem to affect any airflow, seems to be good. So, and last time I was on the trail, this bit here, this little chain guard rattled loose. And uh, I've double nutted that. Double nutted the frame bolts, they came loose, so just a few things like that you got to do every now and then, you know, check on things, but honestly it's a beast. Only thing is the rear tyre, once I get a rear tyre on it, it's going to be an absolute weapon, but right now, uh, it still does, like, so, so well, honestly. Shocks me at how good it is. Alright, let's do choke off, we're in neutral, let's see what happens. Yeah, there you go. The trick to starting them is uh, it's all about fuel. Having the right fuel in here. Oh, I read it once you need fuel. Ah, we're stuck in a huge. Come on. Up you go. It's a bit slippery, and that back tire's got no grip. Yeah, you need fuel, air, at the right mix, and, whoo, sliding, um, compression, and spark actually, obviously. Once you've got those things, then you're good. The fuel will fire, the piston starts to go, and you're in business. This is the part that's pretty, pretty slippery, it can be, this bit here. This is where I stacked it when I first got the bike. I reckon I went on that high edge there. It drops away. And uh, yeah, slipped me over. I just wasn't ready for it. Wasn't used to the geometry. I don't think I had my leg down. So we're gonna shoot to the left. We'll take a little bit of a different way home today. Yeah, a bit of water through here. Makes it a bit more interesting. Just hang the leg a little. So this trick is here, is you want to go up on the, on the right. It does feel like it's bottoming out a little bit there. Losing a little bit. Don't know why. Oh, that doesn't feel good. Something's not good there. Oh, crap. Hang on. <laughs> Had the fuel turned off. That will, uh, that will greatly affect things. <laughs> That'd be why uh, it's feeling like it's bottoming out a bit and losing power. Obviously now with the fuel on, no problems at all. That's a good problem to have though. I'd rather that than, you know, blown piston or some crap like that. Alright, so shoot here, up here. Gonna go a different way. Oh, hey, stop. Yep, there. Here it is. Down here. Watch out for these rocks here. A bit slippery on the upside. Whoa, 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 whoa. Told ya. That grass is... And you can't see the angle of the ground underneath. Slippery. 